Hi, in this video we will learn about sets. A set is used to store unordered set of values that do not repeat. That is, every value in a set should be unique. A set should be used instead of array when the order of elements is not important and when we do not want the values to repeat. If a set is a variable type, it can always be modified. If the set is a constant type, it cannot be modified. Some of the set operations are intersection of a set, union of a set, symmetric difference of a set and subtraction of sets. Now we'll practically see how to perform all these operations on a set. To create a set, first we will write the type of set we want, whether it is a variable or a constant set. Then we write the name that we want our set to have. After that, we write set followed by opening angle brackets followed by character or the type of set we want. After that, we'll close the angle bracket and then a opening and closing bracket. To insert a value in set, we will write the set name followed by dot insert and inside this, we will write the value that we want to insert in our set. After that, to make a set empty, we will write name of the set followed by empty square brackets. To add some values in a set, we will write the name of the set followed by inside the square bracket, we will write the values. To show the number of elements in a set, we will again use the count function like letters dot count. Letters is the name of our set. This will print 3 because we have added 3 elements in the set. After that to remove some value from the set we will write the name of set followed by the remove function followed by the value we want to remove. If we want to check whether a value exists in a set or not then we will write set's name followed by a dot followed by contains function and inside that we will write the value that we want to check. To iterate over a set, we will use a for in loop similar to arrays. This time we will write for any variable name in the name of the set and print each value that is print i. So it will keep on printing the values inside the set. Like currently we have a, b and d but we have removed b so the current values are a and d. So it will print a and d. After that. Now we have created two sets, one is my digit set, second is your digit that is also a set with these values. Now we will perform set operations. First we write the first set followed by a dot followed by a union function and inside that we pass the second set as a parameter. So this will perform union of first set and the second set. Similarly with the same syntax we can also add a function dot sorted. This will give the values in a sorted order. Like currently it has given the values in an unsorted order. In the next line it is giving the same values but in an increasing order that is a sorted order. Similarly we can use symmetric difference on two sets first set dot symmetric difference and inside the function we will pass second set as an argument and we can again use sorted with this. Similarly, we can perform subtraction and intersection on two sets. This is how we can use sets in our Swift language. Thank you.